Motivational Theories by Matthew Weber. What is a motivational theory? So it's the study of understanding what drives a person to work towards a particular goal or outcome. So there's two factors. Extremes of factor, which is like external factors is how people are motivated. It could be such as like a bonus or hard work in a business. And the second one is intrinsic factors. It's like the internal ones. It could be like what you do, what you find like fun to do and like it's like your own human needs. And then what are tools to motivate you? Um, one of them is rewards. It's like it could be like receiving a bonus or a raise. It's something is set like it's incentive to work harder. Second thing is trust in the business place. You have to have trust between all your employees, your boss. If you don't have that trust, you don't have to motivate to work for them. Another thing is recognition. You have to be motivated to do something. If no one recognizes it, like even yourself, then what, what's the point in doing it? And third of all, another one would be career advancement. You want to be able to achieve skills that can help you in the future. You want to be able to motivate to like learn new things and like go up in the business perspective. And purpose, you have to have a purpose because you have to motivate yourself to do. You want to do something, achieve something, and that's your purpose. And all of these uh, tools on fall under the purpose category. An example of a motivational theory is Maslow's need hierarchy. So there, it starts off with physical auto needs. It's be simply being able to survive, It'd be the food, water, a shelter. It's just what's essential for you. And then second, it'd be safety needs. This be like free from physical danger, the fear, loss of job, property, shelter. It's being able to survive from bad things that you don't happen, like being sick or being murdered. Uh, third, be social needs. It's being able to connect with other humans, um, and then like being able to like like work with one another in the business place, and then just like be able to connect with other people. Fourth one is esteem or ego needs. It's being able to be like self respect, self confidence, being who you are. And just like having the satisfaction to do what you want. And then on the top of hierarchy, this is the most important need is be self fulfillment. This is kind of similar to esteem and ego needs, but this is just the ability to like be like full your, to be yourself, to have to like develop your full, like what you want to be potentially. And just being whatever, being able to be capable of what you want to do. Another theory be the carrot and stick there, uh, theory. So the stick is the, it would be the punishment is getting you to do is getting you to do something and the and the carrot is the reward so you have to have the stick like pushing you forward to achieve the reward example could be like uh if you want to get if you want to uh, receive a raise you have to do this work first before you can achieve it or else you won't achieve it but the bad thing about this theory is that the punishment can make you unmotivated and not want to achieve this the carrot um Vroom's especially theory. This is another theory. Um, this is just that, like, um, it said that a person's motivation towards action at any time would be determined by individual perception. That a certain type of action will lead to a specific outcome. So this is based on like your personal belief. So there's three values in this. First is valence. That means the attraction of an outcome to the individual, whether an individual has like preference or reward, is just something that like give him effort and like give a sexual performance and a sec a second would be on uh, what second would be expectancy is just referred to as like it to the extent to which the person believes efforts will lead to the first level outcome it's like what person what person believes he'll be able to do to achieve that outcome and then instrumentally it refers to belief and expectation of a person that his performance will lead to a particular desired reward it's saying that this person believes he can get to this place and achieve this reward or outcome that he wants to. He'll be motivated to do so. Um, and then motivation theories don't just have to be on like business side. They can be on the consumer side as well. Um, but so this one is the theory, reason, action. It's analysis important pre-existing attitudes and decision-making process. So consumer, they all have their own beliefs. They they want to have what they want to buy. What's best for them? So they're going to find out what what product slash service will help them most and that will give them motivation to buy it because it has to be related to them and one thing that helps with this is the marketing part of it it it's the first thing that a customer consumer sees and that will give them motivation to buy a product and second another another theory would be the motivation need theory this is kind of similar to the hierarchy i mentioned at the beginning of the video but this includes um physiological safety social esteem self-actualization 